What's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about getting wax to make candles in your candle workshop. The first thing you're going to need is a monastery. This is the only way you can get wax is by having your monastery. And inside that monastery you have to have beekeepers, which also happens to be your apiary. Which also looks like these little guys. So you have to have one of these to start. These also make honey. And if you click in here, you got a bunch of honey. And I only have one wax, even though I've got nine machines. So you're going to constantly be needing wax to make candles for your candle workshop. So to make the monastery in your estates, which is also F5, or you can just go down to your book and look there. Um, you have to have 10 citizens and then 50 splendor in the clergy. You can then make your monastery, your herb garden, your wine production, which will be like your vineyards and your apiary. And then um, you also will have the stained glass. If you don't have this yet, you will work up to it. Remember when I was in my other videos posting about you how you want to promote slowly, do not force yourself to go to your monastery too quickly because citizens can be very needy and they can also destroy your village. Now, if you're already here and you're set and you have your monastery and you don't know how to build it and you don't know what to do with it, make sure you're in a flat area when you build your When you build it on a hill, it kind of cuts off pathways and your villagers can't get into that area. So you want to make sure it's flat so your villagers can utilize the entire building that you just made and probably used however much stone on this building. So when you make your monastery, mine's not 100% flat, but it's it's a good portion of flat. When you make your monastery, I would recommend making maybe a little bit wider than this. Go go out more here. Because you can put more in there. So you can put two apiaries. You can put a bigger vineyard. Or vineyard. You can put more herbalists in there as well. So I would recommend making it a little bit bigger. I just wanted to make mine a little bit smaller. Because I was thinking about making another one elsewhere. But I think I'm pretty much set in stone. Now when you make your monastery, you have to have villagers there to do it. So when you go and uh, put a villager into the military, it's kind of the same thing. You're just conceding a villager to the monastery and that's what they are. They then become a monk and they are then stuck there at your monastery. And when they are there, that is their entire purpose is to be working in the monastery. So your vineyards, your beekeepers, your herbalists, your vintner, they're all going to be part of your monastery. So you need to make sure that you have jobs open for them, but you also need to make sure you have the dorms. When you build a dorm, it's kind of like the manor. You need to make sure that when you build your dorms, you go down and you put it as dormitory. And so you have the space available because down here where it says occupation 34 out of 50 I have 16 more spots available so I can concede 16 more villagers, but I don't have jobs for them So you can have more villagers or more monks but if you don't have the jobs They're just gonna be doing nothing and they will appear in your unemployed villagers if they don't have a job So say you've done all that now Your next step is getting the bees and the beeswax and all that stuff these little guys down here, like I said, I've got one wax here. But now if you go to your storage, which they do go into a warehouse. I still have zero over here. But if you do go into a bunch of your warehouses, which I've got some somewhere, I'm sure. Maybe. I've got a couple. So I'm just, I'm not able to keep up with production because it just you don't get as much so i could stock it up but it wouldn't help me a whole lot here but your candle shops will look a little like this here these little these two little buildings right here these are your candle candle workshop it takes 10 wax to make 10 candles Now, if you don't have the resources, you're going to need a lot of bees. And like I said, you can go ahead and stock up, but then you're losing out on making your candles. But it might also be better in the long run. It also depends on how you play. 
So with that being said, just make sure when you're going and doing your monastery, you have the space to add more aviaries because you're going to need it. This is a newer addition to the game as well as the general goods. So if you guys have any questions on it, let me know. I can do my best to answer them and get back to you guys in the comments if you do have any questions. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below what you guys want to see. Side note. If you guys have followed my Twitch, I will be moving to YouTube here very shortly at the beginning or at the very, very end of February. And um, I will be doing some lives on Foundation and a bunch of other gaming. So keep an eye out for that. I'm really excited to be moving over here. I'll catch you guys next time on another video with Foundation.